Hi, so I wanted to talk about a project that I built over last weekend and it uses a couple of cool technologies. So here it is. I want to give a huge shout out to Anthony because that's where it's inspired from. And I'll walk through what he built and what that added on top of that. My colleague, Anthony, who's also a developer evangelist at Twilio, built this project where you can summarize text from images using AI, Python, and Twilio. So you basically send a picture of, you know, maybe a novel or a page that contains text. It gives you back a summary of text. So, you know, you could save some time if some you find something that's long and you don't have the time to read it. So it summarizes and sends you back a summarized version of that text as an SMS on your phone. The way it works uh, is it uses Cloud Vision API to extract the text from the image that you send in, right? And then we use OpenAI to summarize that text that we extracted from the image. If you, if you scroll down, you can see you have to set up OpenAI. So go to OpenAI and you'll get yourself an account and then create a new API key. You also need the Cloud Vision, specifically use optical character recognition. We also use Twilio's library, send and receive, you know, the SMS. So we are sending in an image, so that's, that counts as an MMS. And then that image, uh, we extract the text out of that image using Cloud Vision API from GCP. And then we use OpenAI to send back a summary. So those are the three APIs and libraries that uh, Anthony used. I just added uh, text to speech on top of that. So now what happens is you send an image containing text and Cloud Vision API extracts the text, OpenAI summarizes that text and then Google's text to speech. So GCP text to speech API converts that summary into an audio recording, and then you can listen to the audio recording. So this works out great for me if I forget my glasses, right, which I'm not wearing right now. I have uploaded the code to GitHub, so I'll link down the repo itself. But here is the code. A few things first is you have to make sure, you know, you have created a project in GCP, and then you have enabled Cloud Vision API and also text to speech API. Click on enable APIs and services. You can see I have cloud text to speech API and also cloud vision API. So make sure those are enabled for your GCP project, right? And then you will have to create credentials in order to you know, utilize these APIs. So make sure you have created an API key and have downloaded that. Um, there will be instructions in the blog post. I'll create a blog post too for this video, right? And then after setting Cloud Vision stuff, we'll talk over the code itself that helps us to extract that text. So, you know, we use the Google Cloud uh, Vision um, library that's available and it can be installed by pip. So pip is used for managing, you know, Python libraries and packages that are needed. So you can do pip install upgrade Google Cloud Vision and that, that way you can interact with this API, right? So we do import uh, that on the top here in our detect.py. So all of the code is in Python. So we define a function called detect text, right? And then we are using the vision client. And you can see we have a path here where our image is stored. So right now it's uh, looking at the resources directory, right? And then uh, slash image dot JPEG, right? But at this point, just with the detect.py, we haven't received any image files. Once we figure that out, this is where it will look for that image file. And then you can see what it does is it takes out the text out of the image, right? So, so I talked a bit about it in the beginning where, you know, cloud vision can be used uh, to detect things like faces, identi identify places, you know, recognize celebrities and more. Uh, and for this app, we will be using optical character recognition to recognize text in our images. After doing that, 
we now have this uh, dtag.py, which we can import into you know, our app.py later. Now that we have extracted the text out of the image, we want to summarize it. And that's where you know summarize.py comes in. You can see it uses the open AI, right? So we have a function summarize prompt function here. What that does is it uses a text DaVinci 002 model and you know gives us the summary of the text. And text.text-davinci text is OpenAI's most capable GPT-3 model. If you want to read more, you know, all of the links will be in the description below. Moving on to the Twilio SMS API, where now that we have summarized the text, we have to send it back to the you know, user, but also we have to build a logic to receive images right now. So coming back to the code editor, we have app.py now. So app.py is where you know we send the summarized version of the text back to the user. But also what we are doing is I have introduced now text to speech here. So you can do or pip install uh, the text to speech library that's available for Python from Google Cloud. And then we use that as the client here. And what I do is I've defined a summarize underscore audio uh, function here. And what it does is it just converts the summarized text that we used OpenAI for into you know, speech. And you can see it uses US English as the language. And also you, know, you can choose different voices that are available uh, for text to speech through Google Cloud. And then the audio encoding is MP3. And then that file is again stored in resources, right? So one thing I'm trying to, you know, maybe I'll build on top of this is storing the MP3 files in cloud. And you can already see I have made some, so it's commented out the code itself right now, but I can build, you know, a function that uploads output.mp3 to cloud and that's where it's stored. Right now it's stored locally in the directory uh, resources here, and this is what is being sent to the user. So once everything is done, uh, all of this is hosted on slash summary. I can show you a demo really quick here, but what we do is we run the Flask server, and I think it should be running if I'm not wrong. So you can see uh, it's running, and I also have ngrok, which makes my port you know, 8080 public, right? It's a tunneling service. So I grab that URL, and what I do is if I go to my Twilio console, I just have to make sure that my Twilio number that we will be using today is listening to the webhooks uh, at that URL that ngrok has given us. So if I just paste that here and then slash summary was the endpoint that we are using right now, if I go back and I can show you a quick demo of, of the app itself. So I have my Twilio number here. And what I'm doing is I'm sending a picture of a bottle of, you know, ginger ale. I don't know if it can focus. There you go. Um, just to see if we can get back, you know, a summary of text. So I just send that image and then we'll see stuff happening in our console here. So we'll see, you know, so it, gave us the summary text version of the summary here. And then you can also see the audio content is written to file and I should receive a text. So I just received that. So you can see not only I got the text version of the summary, but I also have an audio file. So if I play it. Since 1783, Jay Schweff has been making sodas gingerly and with 120 liters. There we go. So that's how the app works and all of the code will be available on GitHub. And as I said, you know, having using cloud to store the audio files would be the next step that I want to do with, with this project. But yeah, I think it was a cool, you know, GCP project using AI.